The government of India has granted Muharatna status to Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. India has granted export authorization of Pralay missile to Armenia. An Indian state-owned ammunition factory has dispatched 20 containers full of 155 mm shells for export to a friendly country. India has dispatched an initial batch of 2.5 lakh ammunition to United Arab Emirates, that is likely to be followed by additional orders. Lokesh Machines Limited has received approval to manufacture fixed and towed heavy machine guns with calibers ranging from 12.7 mm to 30 mm. Bangalore-based startup Zulu Defense System has unveiled its Volume 35 weaponized unmanned aerial system, that has the ability to launch Igla S anti-aircraft missiles. Indian Army has equipped its Armado Light Specialist Vehicle with NSVT 12.7x108mm heavy machine gun and movable gunner's hatch. The Indian Air Force will start retiring nearly 100 older Su-30 fighter jets from 2045 onwards. The RDO's Advanced Systems Laboratory in Hyderabad has developed a new fabrication process for creating composite components with exceptional properties, that will enhance the overall performance and stealth of aircraft. Voldel Advanced Technologies has successfully developed watertight gas tight and fire class compliant doors and hatches for Indian naval vessels, that were sourced from foreign suppliers earlier. Dassault Aviation has stated, that it would take 8 years to replace the current RBE-2 radar on the Rafale fighter jets with India's UTAM radar, and this announcement has brought back memories of the 50 Mirage 2000 upgrade program by Dassault Aviation, which took over 8 years, and became almost as expensive as purchasing brand new fighter jets. Learning from past mistakes, the Indian Air Force has sought source code of the aircraft in the MRFA tender, otherwise India would have to approach foreign aircraft manufacturer for every new indigenous weapon integration, and will have to pay a hefty price for every new development. The DRDO is set to start initial trials of the 1,200 km range air-launched long-range land attack cruise missile program from early 2025, and it will be production ready by 2028. It will be based on the indigenous technology subsonic cruise missile, but it will be approximately 1.3 tons lighter, due to the removal of the first stage solid rocket booster. Once validated on the Su-30, it will also be integrated into Tejas Mark 1A and Tejas Mark 2 platforms. Tato Advanced Materials Limited has announced that it is set to participate in the Indian Army's FICV program with its multi role next generation infantry fighting platform, that will be based on the technologies already developed for the WAP 8x8 vehicle. It will offer advanced mobility and firepower, modular armor, amphibious capability and will be adapted for various configurations, including troop transport, command and control, reconnaissance and anti-tank roles. The Indian Navy has called upon its design teams to work closely with weapon and sensor suppliers, to minimize the radar cross-section of exposed weapons and sensor equipment mounted on its warships and also develop stealth shields for the Navy's main and secondary guns, that will reduce the detectability of its warships on enemy radar systems, and will significantly enhance the survivability and combat effectiveness in modern maritime conflicts. Today's Top 3 Comments